gonna be talking about the top 10 hottest trannies of 2020. Before you even start thinking, Joey, the top 10 hottest trannies of 2020 sounds just a little gay, don't you think? Well, I'm gonna ease your fears on that because one, I'm gonna be drinking Danny Trejo's, also known as Machete's beer, while also growing a thick, thick beard. And I'm gonna be zeroing my sight on my AR-15, so. I don't think there's anything gay about this video. Leave in the comments if you've the a hotter chick. I don't think you have. Number 10, last but definitely not least, we have Barbara Bougie. Like first off, I'm gonna just say it, I don't trust chicks in wigs. Never have, never will. You just can't trust a girl that can grow hair and then chooses to wear fake hair. It's like, she's always in disguise. You can't trust people like this. That's why she's number 10. Coming in at number nine, a close number nine, we have Dandy Lion. Um, the thing about Dandelion is she's a little too innocent for me. I, I like my girls just a little bit more bad, and especially lately. Um, the whole innocent girl thing that's gone out the window, you know, like if you need a girl that can carry like extra ammo and, you know, convert all of her money into gold and just do things that just like prepare for life, you know, and like girls like this, they just won't survive. Uh, super hot. Number nine. Coming in at number eight, we have Pamela Fontaine. Now, I like a good drink, just like every other guy, girl, whatever. Um, but Pamela, she uh, she hits the sauce back just a little bit harder than most people. So uh, I like to think that I can party and rage, but Pamela, she uh, she's on a different level. She wrote the book, so uh, she's a number eight because she's too uh, she's too much. A little too much for your boy. Coming in at number seven, we have Madison Parks. Good old Maddie. So, Batty Maddie here. I, I like her and I can totally see a lot of people finding her attractive and doing all this, but just since I know her on a personal level, she just has an attitude problem, doesn't get over anything. Been there, done that. Coming in at number six, we have Veronica Cavallari. So, girls like this are trouble. She looks like New Jersey, she smells like New Jersey. Uh, and take it from your boy, she tastes a little bit like New Jersey. So, girls like this, you, you always want to throw back, but you got to keep around. She can fight. Uh, she knows all the best tanning spots. I mean, look at her. Like, she she went into the tanning place. They told her she can't come back for 24 hours. So she just cycles between total tan and sunset tan. And a few years ago, she would have been my number one. But you know, as time goes by, you know, every year, I think Veronica's gonna take a step back and we'll just look down in the future and just be like, you know, that was a nice time. It was like juicy pants or something like that. You know, it was a cool time, but like, yeah, you know. Coming in at number five is Ryan Sheckler. So, you know, some people might like their trannies like a little bit more on the boy side, you know? Not not me, I like them, you know, just super hot slamming, you know? But, you know, Ryan here kind of came in, uh, just snuck on in at number five. I mean, you can tell that, you know, uh, I mean, come on, who wouldn't? Look, look at this guy, girl, who wouldn't? Ryan's number five. All right, moving on. Coming in at number four, this might seem like an obvious pick, but uh, we have Blair Black. So Blair Black is like kind of like the the yang to the ying, which is Blair White, you know? So Blair Black, uh, she does her own thing. She experiments with different types of content, lets her uh, boyfriend come on the channel sometimes, you know? Just does, you know, things like that. Number three, Christine Macko. And look at her. She is just so young, so full of spunk, and just ready to just tackle the world. She's got a single light source. She really, really paved the way for the rest of the girls to come up. We wouldn't even have a list. We wouldn't be doing any of this. It's like sipping a fine wine, you know? And it just, it just tastes so good, you know? And it just, it'll always be there and you can always go back to it. It's just reliable, it's there, it works. Number three, Christine Macko. Coming in at number two, we have Diana Celeste. So Diana is a superstar. She is out of this world. She is red carpet. She is smoking hot. She has all the boys going crazy. I think her net worth is somewhere in the 20 million range. Look, anyway, she is a costly girl. And I love it. I, I love this high class. There's only one thing holding her back and it's just that she's out of my league. So I don't think I'll even get to meet this girl. We live in the same city, but she could just be anywhere. So I don't know. She's uh, she's out of my league, you know? Uh, I don't like saying that very often, but I'm man enough to admit it. Number two, Diana Celeste. Mwah. 
superstar. Coming in at number one, this should be a very obvious number one. Uh, you know, if you guys watch my channel or follow my Instagram or any of those things, you guys are gonna know it's Tanya Pensacola. Tanya Pensacola and I are engaged and we are starting our own little family. We have a cat and a dog and we've been together for years. So it would just be up for me to not talk about Tanya and uh, leave in the comments if you agree, disagree, or you know, have any other not gay things you want to talk about. So uh, yeah, have a good one guys. I hope all this shit clears up soon. Bet you thought you'd see Blair in this video, but she got mad that I was cleaning the gun in the living room. So I am in trouble now. So I gotta go.